finally. <laughs> I mean, what an afternoon. I mean, we knew it was going to be tough coming down here today. We knew they were going to be throwing everything at us. He made a lot of changes today, a few changes today, sorry, should I say. Um, but dramatic win. Like, I mean, that was a win that we needed. Would you agree with that? 100% because they're down there as well. And they had a brilliant result last week. I came to watch him play and they did really well. Mm -hmm. So we knew we were going to have a tough game. Um, and in fairness to them, the... Uh, the, the lads were magnificent hey, from the start. I can't fault any one of them. Yeah. Um, they made a massive effort. Uh, maybe we can be better with the ball at times in transition, but the commitment, the, the, the fight, the, the drive, you know, and the ball to keep going was fantastic. And even to go 2-0 up when we were 10 men, you know, yeah. uh, when we ten men, was credit them a great free kick from Stevie Garrett, and a great header from Spike, mm -hmm. and we thought we were in control then. But we felt, if I'm to be honest, we a couple of decisions did go against us. I think it was evident. We'll see that in the video. Mm -hmm. The penalty, you know, the guys were at him. The boys dived. Um, he threw himself at the boy. I'm surprised the linesman was right on top of it. He didn't see it, um, but the refs mm -hmm. gave it. We, we had a talk about it after, um, and then they scored. We just in stoppage time. You know, we're yep. a header, a free header. And it's not like us because we defended everything really well coming in the box. But they pop up and score the way we did it. The spike was fantastic. So credit the boys, they were magnificent. Um, the sending off with Dan was a bit of a head scratching one. Like, we'll check the back at the end, and it didn't look really much like a second yellow. To be honest, I don't know why you seen it yourself from where we were. But when they go down to ten minutes, you said, and the boys in normal weeks would have heads would have dropped and we would have threw it away. But as you said, the boys didn't drop at all. Like, and even to get a second goal with ten men, and then control <laughs> the second half with that, you know, it was you couldn't ask for any more. Yeah. No, the most important thing is that we give. Uh, we give that that effort, which in fairness, I know you're saying about we've dropped heads. We have them, we haven't. We just have the rubs of greens, and mm. that's what the, the turning point. I've, I've actually been happy with the effort of the team. The team's just a wee bit flat in confidence, and yep. it was natural because things is going against us. And sometimes you need to be rub the green. That's what we've got today, certainly. And mm -hmm. the most important thing is, is coming out of here with the three points, and that's what we've got that keeps us in touch with the rest of the pack, sets us up nicely now for uh, Ballon Mallard next week. Now, the game is, let's say the game had everything. We even had an injury. Our, our, our keeper went off Ben. What's the update on him? For what we can see from the far side, was it a, sh a shoulder again, was yeah. it? Or? Well, Ben reckons says he's old injury. It's the same shoulder he's hurt again. So oh, okay. he was a wee bit distraught about it. He's a bit annoyed about it, obviously. Off, yeah. uh, he's kind of, he's angry about it. Like, so... But as I say, it's a, it is a quite, you know, championship. It's a physical league, and of course. you know, you have to be on your money physically. Um, like he, he was barred to be, but it's actually one of our players. So it's just unfortunate. Like, but we're looking at that department because we've got three keepers at the moment who mm -hmm. can all give the, give a good account themselves. So Ben's come on today and has a decent enough game. Was hoping he would have kept a clean sheet. Yep. Wasn't to be. Um, he kept a clean sheet in his last inning against Ballyclare, but um. Oh, the other day, we had a sending off, which come back, they had, we were a bit disappointed with because of the, the nature of the, you know, the boys clipped it on behind Dan, and he's ran across, uh, Dan and Dan's caught him, mm. it wasn't deliberate, I don't think it was a second yellow card, um, and that, that cost us. saw it, did it look, did it look very soft? It did look soft, and it was soft from here, and I asked the ref, and he says, no, nah, he did charge him, but I don't mm. think so, but as I say, I'll have to look at the video again. And take it from there. The most important thing is now, as I say, that uh, really pleased with performance of boys. It's a long journey up here. Of as, course. As, as, Happy uh, journey for once. A long journey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> as we like to put up, out. As we like to put up <laughs> from, the, from the east up the west. Yeah. And the boys have uh, will enjoy the journey uh, home a lot better tonight. Of course. Now, before, two final questions before I let you go today. Young Jack Scott got a bit of running the team today. How do you think he got on today? He was... Bits and bobs, he was sort of going for every ball, but he's still an experience, he's trying to get there weeks after week, but it was good to see him finally getting the wee run on the, on the pitch. Well, more interested in getting the 21s promoted, um, and that was a big game. So the next of the game was maybe a wee bit too much for him, in fairness, and I said to him after, you know, you have to be fitter now. Um, mm -hmm. He was running around, maybe doing a wee bit, of, but he has to come on and make an impact. Like Johnny Fraser today was was excellent, you know, it was his best good game. Good to see Johnny getting a good game. Well, it's bit, probably better through that middle of the way he did today on, on that open grass pitch. Um, the way he got moved, he, he won headers, he linked up a play. He was a threat, he caused them problems. And then, But obviously, because his, his levels of fitness, we couldn't keep him on. So we decided young uh, Jack to go on, and he's done well. He's yep. he's given a good account of himself, but he's uh, he's definitely got a lot more to come in his locker, and he will he will only get better. Finally, Spike. I mean, pff, the man's worked his ass. took about a year and a half, two years to get back. And today, he shows what he's, he's capable of, a hat-trick. And I mean, you couldn't ask for any more from Spike. I mean, especially 
even off the ball, he was driving the boys on, he was shouting at them, he was telling them to go on. You gotta be like, too excited at the end, as you probably saw yourself, but I mean, it was just overall performance from he Spike, was, it was unbelievable, wasn't it? He was different class, eh, to be honest, mm. he, he showed what he's all about, he, he's just pure predator, um, Isn't he he's just, just absolutely... wonder where he gets his jeans from. <laughs> exactly, I, said, I said, actually yeah. says that to me before the match, I says, look, you're as much a, a much a natural striker as I've ever worked with, yep. and you're you're a special player, but mm. we need more from your game, and, and Fiennes, that's, that's exactly what he's done today, he's worked his socks off for the team, yep. and we could have took him off and went... F- you know, Put an extra man on midfield, but we kept them up there, and I'm glad we did. Just wishes what he does. Uh, just wishes what he does. We actually yeah. kept two up um, with ten men, so not, not many teams would do that because we knew we needed to win the game. So it was either madness for me or, or a master stroke in terms of tactics, like because yeah, we had talked about we had talked about taking him off. I says no, we'll keep him on. So no, it was listen, it was he is what he is. He's, uh, his dad was a legend, and there he, as an legend, sorry, in Irish league, and Glenn Glenn will only get better and play up as well. He's going to be a, he's going to be a top player. And finally, the result today. Now we're off the bottom of the table, which is great. Obviously, a happy journey home tonight. But we've got another test coming up, Ballin Mallard next week. We need to keep this momentum going. Would you agree with that? No, we always knew it was going to be about <coughs> getting as much out of the players as we could, <coughs> because there has been a bit of change. And I understand when the, when the team looks, when the team loses, it looks bad. Um, and I understand on the management team. And I have been taking a lot of criticism and rightly so maybe behind the scenes but I can love all that because I've been in this situation before all I can do is concentrate on what I have to do with the staff and the players and the players in fairness have been magnificent they, they give you 100% there's no badness there there's actually probably there's too big a worry with them at times you know they're, they're, they're kind of a bit of burden and and that I would try and lift that and the day was definitely better the bus up was good the travel was good the, the mood was good the yep. warm up was good the application changing was good. Everything was just on the up, and uh, that's why I think we got that result. So they deserve it, and uh, as you say now, we have to carry that momentum on in the next game.